going on YouTube? This is Sean Rady, and today we're going to be doing a little walkthrough talk through on these quick connect plugs that I purchased for my winch off of Amazon. Now these were amongst the top five results of Amazon and uh, this the brand is called you oh god I don't know what that's called um Yuchen U C H E N and these are about twelve dollars off Amazon. Um, so how this how this is kind of wired up is these wires here go to a battery disconnect switch that runs to the battery and then this plug here goes into that plug there and then that mounts on or that you know wires the winch and the winch is installed with a front mount receiver um, so yeah I was pretty happy with it the challenging part about this project was the connectors for the wires the wire here is two gauge and I've never dealt with two gauge wire but holy crap that's thick so what I had to do was get a crimping tool big enough to crimp the connectors onto the wire. Um, before I crimp though, I actually got some, uh, it's like this paste, it's called no locks or something. And it helps with the, uh, with the copper and aluminum bonding. So when they're together, they don't corrode. So I put that paste inside the connector. I put the, wire into the connector and then I got a, hyd a hydraulic crimping tool from Harbor Freight. It's 60 bucks but that's the only way you're going to crimp this down. The other way to secure it is by soldering. Um, so once I got that crimped down with a two gauge bit on the crimper, it's pretty straightforward. I was able to um, put some heat, heat shrink wrap over the wire as well. You can see this is the original wire and then the shrink wrap connects into the butt connector inside here. Um, and then I have uh, these, these pieces here are suspended. So when I want to connect and I get stuck, I take this part out and I take this part out and then the two red pieces click together. And then I turn on the switch, the uh, disconnect switch underneath the hood. I have my wireless remote and boom bada bing. I have power to the winch and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. And this winch is cool because it's on a cradle. I can easily remove it when I want to. I store it in my truck bed and ratchet it down so it doesn't shift around or move. Um, it's an Apex Badlands winch from Harbor Freight, the nicest one they have. And uh, the winch and cradle itself is 110 pounds. And uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a, you know, obviously a pain to move, but it's nice that it is removable because, you know, you don't want to constantly have this on the front of your truck. So, yeah, that's the... A little video of these of these clips they're pretty heavy duty it's hard plastic i would recommend them uh, you would just need a hydraulic crimping tool or soldering because you are not going to get that together with your regular tool set all right have a good one take care bye